Hello everyone, it's me JB from Unique Tutorials. Today, in this video, I'll show you how to stop all non-essential programs running in background in any Windows computer. So, without any further more delay, let's begin. So, the first method here I will show you by using the Tax Manager. So, just press Control shift escape on your computer keyboard to open the tax manager and here you can see in the top bar name as services just click on it here you can see a uh, lots of programs and services that are running in background so you can see here those are stopped some are still running so when you select on the running application and just right click we'll get an option to stop and restart when open services and so and so but here it is not clearly mentioned that it is essential or non-essential program services that you can stop or restart so it creates a problem for the newcomers to know each and every programs details and whether they are really essential or just temporary so by going to this tax manager it will not be easy for most of the users who are not very techy portions then the second method which I'm going to show you will be much convenient way so for this open any web browser so you need to search this application name as skill emol mini so you need to search this application and once you search this application in Google search you can see it's website link here you can see select the first one just click on it now you can see its website now below just scroll down below here you can see a download option from the official websites and below you can get uh, alternative download link also so just click on this download to download this application just click OK to download it Wait for a few seconds until the downloading gets complete. So finally the download has been completed. So let me go to the folder where it is being downloaded and let me close the web browser. Now you can see here is a zip file. Just double left click it to extract this file. Just click on extract. So after extraction you can see a extracted folder just open this folder you will see some files inside it and here in the below the third file you will see, we're going to see is the application you can read the instruction if you want to read the instructions but right now I'm not going to read so now just double left click it to run the application now you can see here to directly ask you programs will be closed by force without saving your work so right now I will not select this option if you want to select the option then you can select the options but if some files is there on the non-essential you can see here options non-essential allowed program pounds allowed program rules even lots of options like block programs but here I will just talk about the non-essential running programs so you can see here lots of non-essential programs that are being running in my Windows computer that is running in the background so they are consuming my RAM memory as well as my storage so they are not so much mandatory we can just stop all of them so if you are in doubt or if you want something which you are using you don't want to kill then just select that option and just right click it and here you can see there are tons of options now here you can see here add allow program rules just select this if you don't want to kill this program just click it click on apply and the respective application which you have selected will not be killed by this applications now once you are done now you can see below on the right side below kill running programs just click on it click ok all the non-essential programs are killed so you can see in the non kill list so right now what I'm using is being sewn up and the rest are all killed so using this cool applications you can kill 
all the non-essential programs running in the background in any Windows computer very easily. So if you never known about this very cool and useful software, then download it today. And the good thing is that it's totally free of cost. So if you find this video tutorial useful, click on the thumbs like button. And if you're new to our channel, click on the subscribe button. And lastly, thanks for watching.